is Saturday night in Sweden. It is our second semifinal on TSN and the NHL Network as Team Canada will try to get to that gold medal game led by their head coach and Brett Gibson from Queen's University as he just finished his 13th season as head coach at Queen's, winning their first Queen's Cup since 1981. He's got Team Canada ready to go into the semifinal as Team Canada will try to win their first gold medal since back in 2013 and first medal of any kind since 2015 as the winner will move on and take on Russia, who upset the USA earlier today in our first semifinal. And for Sweden, never winning gold at least not yet and what an opportunity here on home soil in Ornschutzvik as we made the drive from Umeå to Irvik and we're underway in the second semi-final as Raymond near wall takes a body check but he gets it in deep as Bakoyevich gets it quickly to Connor Zeri up for Tracy Bjorn Fotz back in his own zone to pick it up and he'll chip it behind Hugo Almafelt, who gets the start in net. The 17-year-old, 6'3", 194 pounds. He made 32 stops in the quarterfinal versus the Czechs in a 4-2 win. And it is Taylor Goche getting another opportunity to shine. He was brilliant against Latvia. As that shot from Jamison Reese stopped by Almafelt, his first test of the hockey game in Sweden, back the other way. A three on two. Centering pass off Harley skate up top shot and Gauthier to stop. As Gauthier, a massive reason why Canada won that quarterfinal against Latvia. He made 40 stops in that 3-1 win and really was a critical player. So what's the key part of that? A massive reason or versus Latvia? Bit of a reverse check there in the corner. Shot high and out of play as Simon Holmstrom missed the mark. And a nice crowd here tonight at Fall Raven Center. The Moto program proudly from here. And we should have some good energy in the building with Sweden on the ice. Well, I know one thing. Brett Gibson had the easiest conversation with his team before this game. Be ready. Because they all saw what happened in the first semifinal when the USA lost in the shootout to Russia. Times you just have to just point at something and say, hey, this. Grove sends it across. That shot missed from the far wall all the way along the boards. And here comes Cousins with a burst. Cousins in, shoots it, stopped, and the rebound is smothered as Dylan Cousins showing a burst up that right That's side. That's exactly what Dylan Cousins has to do. He's an excellent skater. When he slows down, he doesn't have an advantage. When he can move like that, and skate around a defenseman, and he's a big man, becomes very, very difficult to stop him. That's when Dylan is at his best. Three goals, four assists, seven points for Dylan Cousins from Whitehorse, Yukon. And he wins the draw. It's back to Jordan Spence at the blue line. Over to Krebs, who had two goals against Latvia towards the net. They were not highlight reel goals, not even close, but they counted, and he was a difference maker as his centering pass all the way down the ice. I mean, one of them came off a faceoff he lost, and then an empty net goal. They don't ask how, they ask how many. Here's Spence, over the blue line, has a look, he'll shoot it in. Bjorn Flutt sends it across for a Broberg. Broberg making moves up that right side, his shot, that missed. And Gauthier had the pad down, made the save. Max Walgren lost it from the corner. Put up that right side as Tomasino, Holloway, and Pelche. Out up front right now for Team Canada. And it's sent up to Pelche. He hesitates, has a look, and he'll send in the backhand. On the felt. Plays it quickly for Hedstrom. Hedstrom lost it. Tomasino right in front and tied up was Pelche as he was checked by Albert Johansson right in the crease area. And the pass out of Pelche's reach. Long shot knocked out. Pelche in the corner, chips it behind the net. Philip Tomasino collects it. He dishes off. Holloway, the backhand for Tomasino. Tomasino, he gets shoved down. Good physical play there from Enstrom. Soderblom whirls around towards the net, missed. Comes all the way back to the point. And it's held in by Carl Hendrickson.
Canada has a pretty good thing going in the offensive zone below the circles, below the goal line. And Samuel Poulin just throws it out blindly and starts the Swedish breakout. If you want to wear down an opponent and use your depth, keep the puck down there. They've already shown they're having a tough time handling it. Legare puts on the brakes, tried to chip it in deep. Takes the bump on the near boards. It comes out of the zone. As Raymond gives it away, the right to Suzuki. And Canada offside as it was Samuel Poulin coming in. You control the play below the circles. There's the physical play. Jamison Reese right in the middle of it. Wearing you down. There's the reverse hit by Alvin Grode. It'll be a physical game. But when you can grind the team below the dots, below the goal line, wear them out, turn them around, you can really create opportunities. That's why you got to be really cognizant with the puck. Don't throw out the puck just blindly thinking you got to play there. Likason threw it up the ice, wanted Holmstrom. That's intercepted, shot down the ice. So another icing and a face off in front of Taylor Goche. And Team Canada, two quality goalies in this tournament. Goche, Nolan Meyer have both been solid. And obviously, Goche earned the right to start again as he was the difference maker in the quarterfinal uh, against Latvia. Both great choices. Both start at the Olympia Gretzky Cup last summer in Edmonton, winning a gold medal for Canada. So they have that international experience in the big time games as Versalius. Far corner, back up to the point. Towards the net, tips. And that went wide by Holmstrom. Holmstrom picks it up, tries to shovel that backhand into the slot. And Braden Tracy chips it up for Zeri up the right side. Zeri behind the net, tries to tuck it in with a forehand, and it ended up at the side of the net. And there was Jamison Reese, who, I mean, pick your word, spark plug, agitator, high engine. He's been one of those great players for Canada. Yeah, right from game one. But even that play there, it's a good play. He's not throwing the puck out, just looping it out into the open ice from below the goal line. He tries to make a play at the net where the goaltender has to handle it. And there's Connor Zeri and Alvin Groyde. Let me tell you this, Alvin Groyde is a big time competitor. He's not taking a step back anywhere. He was on the team that won a bronze medal at this tournament last year in Russia. And he is back now trying to hunt down gold in his home country. Krebs in front of the net. New hook on the puck. Back to the point, across for Harley. Harley hesitates, shoots, and hit a body in front as Oscar Rahner got in the way. Alex Newhook, up ice for Krebs. The backhand pass for Cousins. Cousins takes it to the near wall. As Walgren, Anderson watching Cousins. He spins away, still on the puck. Down for Krebs. Six goals, three assists, nine points in the tournament for Krebs. As Walgren chips it right to Harley, who shoots it back in, and Canada will use that to their advantage and make a wholesale change. Brandstem works it up that right side. Wanted Soderblom. Chipped into the corner for Zybeck. Puck bounces behind Goche. Tomasino brings it up the right wing. Then he takes the body check into the corner. Pelche swings it to Tomasino behind the net. He got tied up with his own teammate, but he's still on the puck. Up top, wrist shot, Drysdale. And it was cleared and directed to the left side. Tomasino, body check on Isaac Anderson. Around it goes to Goche. Goche. And Team Canada, right up to Broberg, who sends it across. Mikeson, Drysdale, both behind the goal line. Canada comes away with it. Here's Poulin, chips it out of the zone. And moving in is Lucas Raymond. Lucas Raymond in, shoots! What a stop, Goche! Taylor Goche, his best stop of the semifinal thus far. There's two players on Sweden you do not want to see with the puck. And it's the two 16-year-olds, Lucas Raymond, who had that great chance, and Alexander Holtz, number 27. They are superb players. 
certain top 10 picks next year in the NHL draft of 2020. Holtz takes the body check from Schneider. Plays for Brandon in the WHL. Poulin was trying to drive the puck towards the net. Intercepted by Enstrom as Suzuki hits him. And it's up for Versilius. Oscar Versilius, one on two in the corner. Puck floated off his stick, and it's kept in. Holmstrom, he lost to Schneider as Braden Tracy was trying to free himself. Groove making moves at the blue line. Groove nice passing play, but it was broken up as Versilius was trying to create offensively. Braden Schneider off the far boards, down the ice. And there's Reese, the body check as he hits Ransom. Buck picked up by Tracy. Tracy, Sari, down low. Reese tried to give and go as Jameson Reese tried to set up his man. Spence. Reese to the forehand again, tries to jam it in. Couldn't beat Aldefeld. Spence zips it across. Long shot, rebound. Reese, wraparound drive through the crease. And Zeri was in front. And he couldn't get there in time. And Zeri got dumped right in front of Hugo Aldefeld. And another good chance for Team Canada. Yeah, Connor Zeri, Jameson Reese, and Brayton Tracy going to work. Getting the puck directed into the net area. Jameson Reese just misses here. He just loses the puck. He can't hook it enough. Coming from below the goal line. Simon Holmstrom for Sweden at the red line. He'll shoot it in. And the Swedes offer a change. As the young defenseman, Damon Hunt, quickly up to Cousins. Cousins for Newhook. He'll give and go. Krebs back to Newhook behind the goal line. Newhook finds the puck. Young man for the BCHL out of Victoria. As Korzak is in deep, the young defenseman. He'll backpedal back to the blue line. Wrist shot. He was hoping for a tip, but it was picked off as Isaac Anderson got a stick on the puck and shoots it down the ice to Hunt. Up quickly for Cousins, that should be an icing. No, it wasn't, and the Touched linesman up. made it, uh, the, because the defenseman for Sweden could have made a play on it. The, the linesman was decisive in waving it off immediately. Play continues, Hedstrom the back end, he floats it behind Goche. Nybeck in the corner to the blue line, and a long shot, Goche thought about playing it, he did not as he makes the save on Ludwig Hedstrom. Welcome back to the Raven Center. And there is some hockey royalty in these parts. The Moto program. Moto winning their first championship back in 79. Peter Forsberg, the Sedin twins, Victor Hedman won the Norris Trophy. There are some absolute superstars from this region. Coho City this year's under 18 World Hockey Championship. As we win our first goal in the semifinal, Caden Korzak, long shot high over the net. Longtime Winnipeg Jets fans will remember Anders Hedberg. He played here in Modo. Holtz head fake, high shot. It's a part of Goche and then out of play. Marcus Naslin played here. Vancouver fans know him very well. It's just Thomas Gradine. It's unbelievable if you go back in time and what a hockey factory it has been. The Sedin brothers, former co-MVPs in the SHL back in 99. You mentioned Hedman, that Norris Trophy win as well. Peter Forsberg, I mean, he's on a stamp. That should tell you the story from Lillehammer as well. Owns a golf course nearby. Beautiful part of Sweden. Got a fantastic time. Making the drive from Umeå and now here in Irvik. For the medal round. Here comes Holloway for Canada, chasing after the puck in the corner. Tomasino swings at it, comes up to the blue line, and Nybeck frees Anderson as he sends it across. Soderblom goes behind, Goche, and it's shot back in deep. Elmer Soderblom after Drysdale, who got to the puck and moves it up that left side for Tomasino. He's with Belgier. Nybeck. Chips and chases, Buck on a stick. Nybeck in through the crease, but Rouve unable to get that rebound. A little bit of space and 
Keep Canada driving in as Washkirk. Getting some ice time out there. Lays the body. A real great guy on this Team Canada side. Spence, wrist shot tipped, and it was Washkirk in front looking for a redirection. Jordan Spence. Couldn't hold the zone, but he finds the puck and he shoots it back in. Right to Hugo Allefeldt. He's ranked number two by NHL Central Scouting for European goalies. Here comes Elvin Grove. Grove fanned on the pass. It's Grove. Out there with Roselius. Hayden Korzak. Had it, lost it, and it's sent up quickly. But the smooth skating Thomas Harley able to get to the puck first, and he absorbs the body check to make the play. Krebs, he had it picked off. Henriksen took it away from him. Backhand pass in front, far circle, in front, shot, scores! Philip Grober buries it, and Sweden has a 1-0 lead on home ice. Philip Grober jumps right into the attack, and then he buries the shot. It all starts on an exit by the Team Canada players. Kate Korzak is not moving with any speed, and he gets the puck in a static position, and then they turn it over, and Canada never recovered. The good positioning by Sweden off the skate, and then the awareness of Broberg to step right into the play. Olsen gets his shot blocked, but Henriksen, Carl Henriksen, so aware. He created the turnover in the neutral zone, and then he makes the great pass to Broberg jumping into the attack. Six foot three, 203 pounds, talented defenseman. And he's got his second goal of the tournament. He's ranked fifth by NHL Central Scouting European skaters. Dylan Cousins, a shot in and out of the glove as Canada will try push back. Peyton Krebs is on it for the Canadians. Go dish to Newhook. Newhook for Cousins. So the big line right back out there for Team Canada after that goal. Cousins, Krebs, Newhook fighting for position. And Buck bounces away. It comes to Alexander Holtz, who is 2020 draft eligible. Stretched up ice to the right side for Lucas Raymond. Grandstand. Bjorn fought. Shoots it along the boards back into Team Canada territory. As Schneider picks it up for the Canadians. Schneider. Krebs takes the body check. As he gets worked over, but he'll shoot it in. Grandstand along the boards. Just held in. At least I thought it was just held in. It is offside as Canada is down 5-1. Philip Roberg, your goal scorer. Played at the World Juniors in BC. Also the Helenka Gretzky Cup last summer in Alberta. Had four points in that tournament. And he has opened the scoring in the second semifinal on TSN and the NHL Network. Look at that little outlet pass by Philip Broberg. We see the goals. Philip Broberg is the best skating defenseman in the draft. He's unbelievable. The way he moves, he pivots. The, he can move left to right, right to left. And he played in the all Svenskin with AIK for a big portion of this season. And he is a really top-end player. After Bowen Byron, for me, he's the second-best defenseman in the draft. And I have no doubt about him. One of their D as well, Craig, uh, Victor Soderstrom. He's out of the tournament, one of their good young defensemen. He got a concussion in the last game in the group play against Russia. Henstrom dishes up that right side for Albert Johansson. He shoots high, and Goche makes the stop. Soderblom and Holloway. In a battle in the corner as Belche released it, but he gave it away far circle. In the slot, it's dropped off. Wrist shot as again, it's Jorn Fott. And Belche removes it from a dangerous area. Up for Tomasino. Do you think the players here know what's happening in the NHL playoffs? That all the division leaders turnover in front is were knocked out of the playoffs. Tomasino nearly jumped on a turnover. This could be the year of the upset everywhere. Korzak, slap shot right on, rebound as Ryan Suzuki, younger brother of Nick, who is now property of the Montreal Canadiens, and 
A little bit of space for Bjornfot as he tried to drive through everybody. And finally, it'll be Taylor Goche making the stop as Sweden striking first in the semifinal. Team Canada at this tournament, back-to-back -back fifth place finishes, trying to get back on the podium. And in this matchup last year, I know different coaching staff, different players. It was Alexi Lafreniere, the OT winner in Russia, as Canada did beat Sweden. Poulin into the offensive zone, gets the puck, Washkarik fires, and getting just enough was Alnefeld, who got a piece, and then the net comes off the moorings. As Ryan Suzuki was injured in his first game of the tournament versus Finland. And it was great to see him come back healthy. I wonder if he's 100%. It was a lower body injury when he had to leave the game, but he's a young man with a lot of upside. Plays for Barry in the OHL. Had 75 points in 65 games this season with the Colts. And still looking for his first goal, first point of this tournament. And Canada will try get it going here with just over five minutes to go in the first period, down by one. Cousins, far circle, fan on the shot. He was tied up. Krebs gets to the puck. Krebs, new hook, the give and the go as the captain was trying to get that pass back, and he's on it. Krebs at the blue line. Good puck possession, still on it. Centering pass. And it's swatted away, and it's up for Holmstrom. Simon Holmstrom loses it, and here's Cousins with space. Cousins up the left side, dishes Krebs, the backhand try. He tried to center it, and it was broken up. Krebs again towards the net, and Johansson got a stick on it, and he shovels it behind the net. Sweden looking for a change as... Rove waits, wanted some help, and he gives it away. And look out, Jamison Reese with space to the backhand. That's stopped, and he draws a penalty. So Team Canada to the power play, and Jamison Reese had a little runway, but a nice stop from the tender. Who are you going to call when you need a catalyst? Number 14, Jamison Reese, and he is gone. Nobody's catching him. Pretty good save here by Annafeld. Reese tries to open him up, gives him a little fake, and he just can't get it in between the pads. Might have been some room there, but nice recovery by Annafeld. So Ludwig Enstrom the slash. We saw the whack on the leg. He's in the box. And Canada struggled on the power play in their last game, 0 for 4 versus Latvia. Philip Tomasino brings it up that right side, sends it across. There he shoots! Rebound available, still lose. Pelche kicked at it, couldn't get a stick on it in time. As Aldenfeld made the stop. Harley, Tomasino works it down low. Zeri jabs it, scores! Connor Zeri jams it in, power play goal to tie it up at one. Tomasino zips the pass to Connor Zeri. Now Connor Zeri has time to move from the goal line above, and he's not looking to make a pass where they can knock it down. He's jamming it there at the net. But Tomasino makes a real key play here as he zips the pass, and now you can't recover. That's a nice play by Connor Zeri to turn himself around. When you pass the puck firmly, there it is off the inside arm of Anafelt and in. If you float the pass slow, a defender can get back down there and defend against him. Tomasino zips it. Now Connor Zeri can step out. So the second rank power play in the tournament comes alive, and it's goal number three for Connor Zeri as he buries it. As Deep Canada striking the ninth power play goal of this tournament and a big one in this semifinal. As the Canadians draw level at one. And who are you going to call when you need a catalyst? Number 14, Jameson Reese. Tomasino into the offensive zone again. Centering pass, Holloway shot. As he fanned on it, was tied up. It's up that left side now to Raymond. Raymond. Gave it away to Korzak. And maybe a two-on-one as Holloway 
Couldn't get the pass across yet. Tomasino streaking in. Hayden Korzak. Korzak moves in. Arister. And there's been a few rebounds available on Hugo Olnefeldt. He juggled that one, but he controls in time. When I see a goaltender, fumble pucks, just keep shooting it at him, test him, see what he's made out of, see if he'll give you more gifts. Don't stop now. Sweden lost to the United States back in preliminary play, 6-1, to one, and then rattled off a bunch of wins. And they've been rolling right into this semifinal. Poulin, skate to stick, drops it off. Negare towards the net, nobody there. Chipped up and held in by Schneider. Negare goes to work and it's picked up by Tobias Bjornfot. Stretches it up. Max Walgren, the shot, comes right to Poulin. Poulin for Legare. Nathan Legare back for Poulin at the blue line. Schneider was starting to creep in from that blue line as that was broken up. Sunsvik gets the puck. Sunsvik, a weak shot in the slot, gets it back, tries again, and that's into the right-handed catching Taylor Goche, who is a right-handed catching goalie. Seen a few of those over the years in the NHL and some pretty good ones when you talk about Grant Fuhrer. And there it is, into the mitt, no problem. Louis Domingue right now in the NHL, Michael Hutchinson, right-handed catching goalies. Right off the face-off, puck bouncing around and it comes to Newhook, he'll dump it in to the near corner. Cousins picks it up for Canada. Cousins near board, still with it. He'll curl back around. Cousins, long shot, it's high. He missed, and Drysdale can't keep it in, so he's got to go back into Team Canada territory. Jamie Drysdale up for Cousins. He'll tap it in. Krebs hard into the corner. Krebs able to take it out with Cousins. Krebs still on it. You know he wants to have a dynamic game for Canada. The backdoor pass, new hook. Pass behind him, but they continue to cycle. Cousins, the dish, up to Spence. Spence, Krebs, right in the slot area. New hook protecting, backhand in front, and Cousins was there, but it goes through the crease. Alex Newhook. Down low for Krebs. Pass in front, knocked down. Still pinball, and Cousins fires off a skate, and it stayed out. Brasilius, able to start it up ice. Holmstrom with Brasilius. Oh, Brasilius was in, but hit the skate. Good defensive play, two of them from Newhook. Another shot, kick stop, rebound, and that's over the stick of Holtz. Tell you what, if it ends up on the stick of Holtz, good chance it's in the back of the net. Final minutes in the Raven Center on a Saturday night. Holtz has it, and he gives it away, and Reese, who you said at a catalyst again in drawing that penalty for Canada to score a power play goal, Reese. Still working, hacking away, trying to get that puck. Henriksen or Holtz up the left side. Korzak there first, chips it high, and that hits the body and goes out of play with 30 seconds remaining in this first period and a nice bounce back on the power play for Brett Gibson and his team. A much needed power play goal. And here's the play where it slips over to Holtz. And He's pretty good at corralling those pucks, too, and tight. Just skips over his stick. And talk about Cole Caulfield and what an exceptional goal scorer he is. Those guys that score goals have a real knack of corralling the puck and making it look so easy that are real, what I call, tough pucks. And we saw Cole Caulfield now tying Alex Ovechkin's tournament record for goals in a tournament with a 14. He scored two in a losing cause. There's the goal by Canada. Quick play by Tomasino, and Zari just turns and gets it off the right arm and through Anafelt. Eyes the game at one. Late birthday, September 25th, so he's 2020 draft eligible, is Zari. 
who has the power play goal for the Canadians. That's gloved down in neutral ice. Anderson shoots it in. And it's Bakoyevich behind his own net, and that'll.